Hi guys, how's everybody doing today? I hope you are doing great. My name is Miss Young and I make videos to help you remember the things that you already know and to teach you about some new things too. So today, instead of starting with a question of the day, we are going to talk about lights and I will explain that in a minute. Then we're going to switch screens and we are going to learn all about California. California is a huge state and it is one of the 50 states, 50 states in our country, which is the United States of America. And then we're gonna come back here. We're gonna talk about what you learned and we're gonna talk about some things that you can do at home, okay? Okay, let's get started. So, I said we were going to talk about lights. Well, when you're in the house, or at school, or anywhere, <laughs> we need to have the lights turned on, right? So that we can see. But, when we leave the room, I want you guys to remember to always turn the light switch off. Because that will save electricity. If there's nobody in the room, you don't need the light on. So, and if you leave the light on when you're not in the room, it's just wasting electricity and you have to pay for electricity. So <clears throat> we want to not only save our money, but save the environment too. So let's always try to remember to turn the lights off when we're not in the room, okay? Now, what happens when you go into <clears throat> a room and you turn the light on and the light bulb is burned out? Well, <clears throat> the first thing you have to remember, guys, is to unplug it. You do not want to mess with the light bulb while your light is plugged in. So remember to unplug the cord from the wall. Now, when you unplug it, don't yank it from the cord because that's going to damage the cord and it could cause sparks and then it could cause fire and of course we don't want that so when you pull it out of the wall make sure that you hold it by the plug part and hold it firmly and pull it out of the wall okay so that's number one remember now the second thing is make sure that it is cooled off before you change your light bulb. Now this could be in any kind of lamp or light that has a light bulb. Now, when you go to change your light bulb, be very careful, be gentle, and you want to unscrew the light bulb like this very gently. Okay, and when you <clears throat> when you put it in the garbage can, wrap it up so that it doesn't break and that the glass doesn't um, hurt anybody, that, you know, the broken glass. Actually, the better thing to do is recycle the light bulb, but not everybody can do that. So at least try to wrap it up so that the glass doesn't break and nobody gets hurt from broken glass. Okay, but before you get rid of the light bulb, you have to look and see what kind it is. And then you want to match it up, get another one and make sure that it matches. And then, make, and then you can screw it back in, but you have to make sure that it's the same kind that will fit in your light, okay? Still don't plug it in yet, all this you're doing while it's still unplugged. Okay, so then you take the end that has the silver part, the little metal part, and you gently stick it in. The, this is called a socket. You gently stick it in the socket like that, and then you gently turn it until it's tight. Okay? Don't do too tight. Not too tight, though. Because if you do too tight, then it could break too, and you don't want it to break. Okay, now that you have your light bulb changed, then you can plug it in and use your light. Don't forget, 
if you leave the room, unplug that, I mean, turn off the light switch if you leave the room so that you can save electricity, okay? Okay, guys. So, California. California is, like I said, one of our 50 states. And it is this big giant one over here on this side of the United States. And we call this the West Coast. The West Coast is on the west side of our country. And the East Coast is on the east side of our country. North is this way and south is this way. Okay? So, we've got 50 states in our country and California is one of them. And we're going to go on a little trip to California. Okay? Ready? I'll see you in a minute. Let's learn about California. The United States of America is a country that has 50 states. California is the third largest state in the United States, and it is on the West Coast. The ocean next to California is called the Pacific Ocean. A long time ago, Native Americans lived in California. <clears throat> then a lot of people traveled to the state looking for gold. That was called the gold rush. Today, almost 40 million people live there. Some of the largest cities are Los Angeles and Cal San Francisco. The weather is warm and sunny in California. There are mountains and forests and national parks. Mount Whitney is the highest mountain in the United States. California has some of the tallest trees in the world, like redwood trees and sequoia trees. There are also a lot of tall palm trees. There's a hot desert called the Mojave Desert. Part of the desert is called Death Valley because it is so hot. There are also beautiful beaches where people go surfing in the waves. Some of the animals that live in California are bears, snakes, whales, sea turtles, and eagles. And some of the things that grow in California are fruit, like lemons, and grapes, nuts, like almonds, and pistachios, and avocados and broccoli. There are many things to see and places to go in California. You can go to Disneyland, or you can visit Hollywood, where they make a lot of movies. <clears throat> More movies are made in California than any other state. There are other sites to see, like the Golden Gate Bridge, and there are also a lot of computer companies in a place called Silicon Valley. If you like sports, some of the teams in California are the 49ers, which is football, the Lakers, which is basketball, and the Dodgers, which is baseball. The state flag has a bear on it. The state bird is a quail. And the state flower is a poppy. California's nickname is the Golden State because the poppies are a golden color, the sunset is an orange golden color, and people went to California to find gold from a long time ago. Would you like to visit California someday? Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed learning all about California. It's such a big, beautiful state. So, let's talk about some things that you can do at home. Okay, one of the things that California is known for is fish because of all of the water all along the coast. So, at home, you could have some tuna fish. <laughs> you could make a recipe with tuna fish and it would remind you of being in California. You could make a uh, tuna salad, tuna casserole, um, anything with tuna. You could put uh, tuna in your macaroni and cheese. Okay, the other thing that you can do is you can try an avocado. 
Have, have you guys ever tried an avocado before? Did you know that guacamole, holy guacamole, is made out of avocados? Okay, an avocado looks like this. And avocados, a lot of avocados are grown in California, also Mexico, but a lot of them are, are grown in California. So, if you are, are careful, you can use a knife to cut open the um, avocado. Now guys, if you need help with knives, ask for help, okay? Knives are very, very sharp. You have to be very careful. Knives, of course, have the sharp end on one side and the, the dull end on the other. So be very, very careful and always hold it like this, okay? Always hold a knife in your fist so you have control over it. But if you need help, ask someone that you live with, okay? Okay, so get a cutting board and I'll show you what the inside of the avocado looks like after you cut it. Now I hope that this is a good one. Ooh, they get they get kind of brown pretty quick. But this is what the inside of an avocado looks like. Hey okay, guys. And then, you see that? And then you take the pit, the, <laughs> the big giant pit. Don't want to eat this. This you just throw away in the garbage can. But then the avocado part, you scoop out with a spoon and then you can make guacamole, or you could put it in a salad, or you could put it in your tacos. Um, oh, avocados, I think, are delicious. You can try it. You might not think it's delicious. But, um, but it would remind you of being in California, because that's where they grow, Cali uh, that's where they grow avocados. Okay, another thing you can do is you can make a postcard of whatever state you live in. So this, I live in Florida, and this postcard says, greetings from Florida. And it has different pictures of things that we have in my state. We have oranges, whereas California has avocados, Florida has oranges. Um, I got, got, <laughs> I got avocado on my finger, guys. Um, we have beaches. We have beautiful sunsets, just like California. And we're called the land of sunshine. You can see the, the uh, sunshine up there and the palm trees, which is also kind of like California. Remember, California has palm trees, too. So <clears throat> you can make a postcard. <clears throat> But instead of Florida or California, you can put whatever state you're from and you can draw some pictures on your postcard of things that are in your state. Okay? Alrighty. And then the last thing you can do is you can go to www.california.com, which is a website uh, for tourism for, web, for California. And it will show you, you can see all kinds of different pictures and places to go and places to visit. California right there on the computer so you don't have to get in an airplane and travel anywhere there's so many things that we can learn just by going on the web website now if you can't don't have a comp computer that can get on a website that's okay too all right guys so we are out of time for today I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video bye